upper stage segment. And of course, that's a simulator. The upper stage is a simulator. And these uh, segments, uh, when put together, will constitute the upper stage vehicle or, or uh, portion of the vehicle. They were developed, uh, designed and developed at Glenn Research Center up in Cleveland. And um, an interesting story on this is that uh, these are developed right at Glenn Research Center. And in order to get them down here, you can see we're bringing them in on a barge. It's a, the Delta Mariner, as a matter of fact, uh, which we were able to obtain the use of. It's, it's made for carrying uh, spaceflight hardware um, uh, via sea. Anyway, we, um, when we, we were developing these up in, in Cleveland, in order to get them down here on the, on the boat, we have to truck them. You can see them here being trucked actually to Cape Canaveral after they've been offloaded uh, down at KSC or uh, at Cape Canaveral. But anyway, in order to get them from Glenn Research Center to a port off the Ohio River and then from the Ohio River to the Mississippi River and down that route, um, we had to clear bridges. So the reason why the segments are nine and a half feet tall, I often ask the high school kids this, why do you think they're 18 feet wide, which has to do with it being identical to the Ares 1 rocket, but the reason why they're nine and a half feet tall is so that we could actually get them under the car bridges in order to get them to the uh, port. So now where are we here? We're actually in the, the vehicle assembly building in the transfer aisle, which is the uh, middle section of the very tall building, as I'm sure you've talked about before. Um, uh, the uh, uh, Technicians there are lifting them up, and we are getting ready to move them into uh, a storage position initially, and then we'll move them into a location where we can work with them. So I guess a lot of the activity for, you know, I guess, a number of months was uh, going on in High Bay 4. Here they all are, I guess, yes, all that's right. laid out there. It's it, the way we we stacked the rocket, integrated the rocket was this. There is a high bay four, and right across the aisle is a high bay three. In order to prepare for that, we stacked these segments into what we call super stacks, which were made um, uh, of a certain weight. We couldn't stack so many. You, you had a height and a weight max. Now this uh, is uh, out at AstroTech. I think we process. Yes. Uh, Yes, that, that was an AstroTech. That's uh, actually a, um, a different portion of the vehicle, and we'll, we'll get back to that. That's part of the first stage system, whereas this, part of, this is the upper stage portion. You can see we put decals, and of course, if you're looking at the launch pad, you can see the decals on the uh, launch vehicle uh, out there now. Lifting these is, a, uh, of course, a very uh, delicate process. A lot of time is spent up front making sure that we understand the lifts, making sure that safety is involved, and then placing them down so that they can be, uh, you place them on top of the, the previous one, uh, and then you bolt them down. If you look, uh, George, you can see inside that there is a set of platforms. That's actually how we access the upper portion of the vehicle when uh, we get to stacking it actually in a different high bay in the uh, vehicle assembly building. And uh, right here, these are ballast plates. These are just extra weight. Because our, we have a simulator for the upper portion of the vehicle, uh, we simulate uh, that, upper, uh, that upper stage for the Ares 1 will actually be a, a live stage, so it has a, a liquid oxygen tank and a liquid hydrogen tank, and those ballasts simulate that, so we put in the appropriate number of those plates to simulate the ballast of a fully loaded propellant tank. And this looks like the, the uh, simulated Orion uh, yes, that's escape uh, system. Yes, that is. In fact, I believe if you, uh, uh, yes, that's right. That is the launch abort system simulator, simulating the uh, rocket that would uh, pull the capsule away on an Ares-1 rocket, that is, uh, in case of an emergency. So we are, of course, simulating that as we're simulating the entire rocket uh, on Ares-1X. That is the uh, uh, what we call a rocks module, roll control system. There are two of those, and they keep the vehicle oriented. In other words, the vehicle will roll, and we
we fire thrusters and actually keep the uh, vehicle um, oriented properly. And here we have the uh, first aid segments coming in by rail from Utah, as they customarily do. Actually, an interesting thing there, um, the uh, many of the people that worked on this from the first stage office actually rode in the last few miles of that on the train, and that was a real thrill for them. Um, most of them had put their heart and souls in this, and so it was really nice that they were able to see it roll at the Kennedy Space Center. And now uh, this is the uh, rail car removing the covers, and now we're into the uh, real workings of the motor here. Right. And one of the first things, of course, that's done is, uh, of course, they are inspected before they are loaded on the vehicle, uh, you know, for transportation. They come by train, as we saw. And then once we uh, get them uh, at Kennedy Space Center, of course, we check them again to make sure that there was no damage in transit. Uh, in, in our case, there, there wasn't any to, to note of. The propellant is a very interesting thing. It's almost a rubberized look, and you can see uh, the gentleman now looking through it, uh, making sure that there are no um, irregularities in it. Yeah, we saw him actually getting inside the booster and taking a look uh, with his flashlight. It shows you how large it is, doesn't it? It's, a, it's quite a large thing. Uh, as you know, we uh, the boosters come in laying on their sides, and then we turn them upright in a special facility here uh, in order for us to uh, begin the essentially uh, begin the stacking process. We started in this facility, and then we move it over to the vertical or vehicle assembly building for the uh, fully fully stacking of the first stage system. Yeah, this is all going on in parallel with the upper stage work, I gather. Oh, that's right. In, in fact, if um, if you would look at a uh, uh, a schedule for all the activities that we're doing, many things were being done in a number of different facilities, and all of that, of course, has to be coordinated. And that's uh, one of the uh, great challenges to spaceflight is so many things are done in parallel, and we have to keep track of all of them. Now tell us what the stripe is that we saw on the side there. Oh, that's a very good question. Um, we decided because it's a flight test that we wanted to make sure we understood how the vehicle was rolling even though we have sensors on it and so on it's NASA's approach to usually do a little extra and this was an easy thing for us to do so we put a Z on it so as that Z moves around we uh, if we were just to watch that we would know how the vehicle is rolling so it's another uh, extra way of of getting data from it although we have plenty of sensors to measure that too but it was a nice clean way of doing it now this looks like uh, the fifth segment simulator coming out. Yes, that's right. Um, y as you know, we have um, we're using a four-segment booster uh, with a fifth-segment sig simulator so that we simulate the five segments that an Ares One would have. And so uh, this is the very top of the first stage, just before you get into the upper stage. So it's that transition between the thinner part of the rocket and the larger diameter just to give you an idea that the lower diameter is 12 feet the upper diameter is 18 feet and that frustrum or that transition allows us to smoothly go from the smaller diameter to the larger diameter in uh, this this upper portion of it is also of course where we store all our parachutes uh, for the recovery of the first stage and uh, this uh, is one of the solid rocket booster segments uh, coming over to High Bay 3 in the vehicle assembly building, I think, for the uh, start of stacking. Yeah, uh, one of the interesting things is that we were stacking the first stage in High Bay 3, which is just across the aisle in our building from High Bay 4, where we were stacking the upper stage. So if you looked at one side, you saw the first stage being put together, and the other side, you saw the upper stage being put together. And there's our Z stripe, as we see there. That's an inner stage section. It looks like there's a lot of uh, things on it, but those are simulated protuberances, which will actually have uh, systems on them in Ares 1. But for us, we want to do